There's a book that was written back in uh, 2003 titled Hope is Not a Strategy, written by a gentleman named Rick Page. I have not read the book. Uh, uh, I uh, It looks like it's a pretty good book because it's got 65 uh, four, you know, customer reviews, uh, rating at, at four stars. That's pretty good. So, and, uh, it looks like he's a sales trainer or consultant, uh, for salespeople. Uh, and, um, and the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I just love that title. I love the phrase, hope is not a strategy. And I wish I had said it. Uh, I don't know if he said it, but he got it on a book you know 16 years ago and I or 15 years ago and so I say good on him I'm gonna give him credit I'm gonna give him credit for this uh, now why am I talking about that well this week I had a I had an online conversation in LinkedIn uh, in the messaging part of LinkedIn where a gentleman who had uh, connected with me recently uh, I don't know how he connected with me but uh, um, obviously I accepted the I accepted the connection and uh, as many of the people who do uh, reach out to me. Uh, they try to sell me and uh, uh, a lot of them try to just sell me stuff immediately, which I just, I just kick them out. I just, I just, you know, de, de, what do you, de defriend them or whatever it is, you know, or unfriend them uh, with that. But his, his initial reach out to me, which was essentially a cold call, a, an immediate effort to try to sell me, um, captured my attention because it really, it really, it brought back to me that, that statement, hope is not a strategy, uh, especially not a marketing strategy. Okay, so here's his initial contact. Obviously, I'm blacked out everything that uh, helps you to uh, know exactly who this person is. I'm not here to to you know embarrass him or anything like that. Uh, but I am going to use I'm, I am going to use his messages here. So so he says, I hope you know. Hello, Steve Miller. I hope all is going well. I recently started my family business, doing what I have for the last 20 years. Parentheses review my LinkedIn profile, and I wanted to introduce us formally. I will keep this brief. I'm very excited about our brand building and marketing capabilities. Wanted to give it a get, to give a quick recap, believing uh, that with our uh, industry research, we can provide you value immediately. Here are some links for you to check us out. Okay, so what's wrong with this? Number one, obviously, it's it, it, it's just a black. He, he's just blasting out to people. All right, you know, he's not reaching out to Steve Miller personally, individually, or anything like that. This is a copy and paste message that he clearly is sending out to a lot of a lot of people. So, so what is it? It's shooting in the dark. It's hope. That's what it is. He has connected with me. He has seen the he's, he, he's seen the word marketing or branding or something like that. Uh, somewhere in, in my uh, profile and decided that I, f I am in that pile. I'm, I'm actually in the forest is what he's looking at. He's looking at, uh, you know, a forest of animals who all are somehow involved in, in, in marketing or, or some way. Okay. Um, when you, if you, if you, uh, take this apart, if you take his message apart, you can see really what's wrong here. Okay. Let's start with, he says, hello, Steve Miller. Very, uh, um, I wouldn't even say that's a, that's formal because formal would be, you know, uh, you know, hello, Mr. Miller or dear Mr. Miller, uh, um, you know, informal, maybe, you know, hello, Steve or something like that. But no, he says, hello, Steve Miller. So I hope all is going well. So what's that? What kind of an opening is that? It doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, you know, uh, started my own business, doing what I have for 20 years. Review my LinkedIn profile. Hmm. Review my LinkedIn profile. Okay, he doesn't tell me very much about himself. He said he, he basically says here, okay, review my LinkedIn profile, and then here's some links for you to check us out. Links for you to check us out. So what is he doing? He's putting the onus of responsibility and the assumption that I would be interested in reading his LinkedIn profile, and then the assumption that I would be interested in clicking uh, uh, these links to go learn about him. What's wrong with this? Well, number one, it is 100% transactional approach. He's trying to sell me stuff. He's trying to sell me something. And as soon as I go in, and, and of course, because I'm talking about it today, I decided, all right, I am going to go check this out. Uh, um, check this guy out. I did click the links. Uh, he's an ASI distributor. He's an advertising specialty distributor. Though you, you know, you you probably know ASI. You, you probably know advertising specialties. Uh, you know the things that you buy: pens, pencils, coffee mugs, keychains, uh, t-shirts. You know stuff like that that you imp imprint your your company logo on, and and you give them away as gifts or as incentives or something like that. That's 
what he does, all right? He's not a marketing agency, even though he declares himself to be that in his websites. Um, he is a, an ASI distributor. Um, but he goes on to say, or, or in my response to him, and let me make sure I see this, okay? Uh, my response to him is I, sa I said, you have no idea what I, what I do, right? You're just shotgunning. And I leave a link to my book to give him a little idea like, okay, you've asked me to research you, but you have not done any research into me. All right, because I'm pretty darn sure that copy and paste message has gone out to a lot of people, probably everybody that he has been able to connect with. And he is he's out there connecting with as many people as he can on LinkedIn. That's my, that's my guess. So his response then back to me is uh, and again, he has not researched me. OK, clearly he has not. He didn't even click on this link. I'm guessing, you know, my link <laughs> all right, to my book. Um, uh, with a marketing coordinator and director background, I do feel you would at least understand what I do and appreciate knowing I, I am available to provide the services I've outlined in my introduction, LinkedIn profile and website links. So let's, 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 <laughs> let's unpack this one here too. All right. With a marketing coordinator and director background. I don't know if he's talking about himself or me. I mean, if he's talking about me, then wow, you talk about making a big assumption. It's like, it's like where there, nowhere in my profile does it say marketing coordinator or marketing director or anything like that. Nowhere does it say that. I think he's talking about me, but if he's talking about himself, then, then he's saying, now he says, I do feel you would at least understand what I do. I have no idea what you do. Well, I sort of do now because I've done that research and I see that he's an ASI distributor. Uh, you know, and appreciate knowing I'm available to provide the services I've outlined in my, in my introduction, LinkedIn profile, and website links. Once again, he is saying, he is basically saying that I should have researched him before I responded. Um, but he goes on to say, but no, I probably don't have a full grasp of what you do today. I do apologize if my approach is a shot in the dark, but I felt it was a place to start. A shot in the dark is not a marketing strategy. And that's what I, how I responded to him. As I said, shooting in the dark is not a marketing approach. It's spray and pray. Why would I even look at your profile and links if you didn't research me first. And he comes back with, Steve, I get your point. I will take your advice and see if a more specific service or product would be a better use of effort by conducting more in-depth research on my target. So now if he's talking about me, what he's saying is that he, you know, okay, yeah, he'll find, you know, he'll research me and then he'll just come back and, and come and come to me with the specific advertising specialty that will, that will work for me. All right, number one, this is a 100% transactional approach to marketing. This is not transformational. This is in what, what that simply means is this is selling selling stuff we are marketing stuff all right we are selling we have a product and we're selling a product that's and so he's trying to find somebody to buy a product rather than going out and researching his marketplace and uncovering the moose who would have an interest in talking to him let's think about this about what i'm what i mean here in this transformational approach versus transactional approach is that um, the old, 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 old days of throwing crap against the wall and hoping that some of it sticks uh, are, you know, old, gang. They're really old. OK, uh, you know, you could you, you know, you could cold call people. And that's essentially all this is. Right. Is that he's found a way to cold call me. And, and, and you know, he says he says, I want to introduce introduce us formally in his in his first message to me. That's not a formal approach. That is not a formal introduction to me. It's spray and pray. It's a blast that he is sending out to a whole bunch of people. There's nothing formal about that. It's probably the least formal thing that you could possibly do is to reach out to people like that. Uh, uh, and you know, if you go out and like, let's say he is connecting with all kinds of people, all kinds of moose, um, on the, on LinkedIn. Uh, and when I say uh, moose, actually I should back up and say he's, he's connecting with all kinds of animals animals in the forest. And let's say he connects with a hundred animals and he sends the same message to a hundred animals, but his target market are moose. Well, you know what? Um, it, there's only going to be a certain percentage of those animals that are moose. And then even more important is that once you've identified your moose, you have to uncover some way to get them to acknowledge a need for your product or service that, you know, for, to, to acknowledge the transformation that you will be offering them, that that transformation is important to them, that they agree they have a need with you. See, let me, let me put it to you this way. 
instead of going out and blasting to a hundred people who I don't have any idea uh, who they are really because I don't do any research into them you see the beauty of of the internet and especially LinkedIn especially LinkedIn is you go out and you research you spend the time up front studying your marketplace and then going out and find you know all, all the way down to studying people individually so that you can determine whether they fit your your profile or not the profile of your target market and then going even deeper into them to to ask the question really you know are they are they somebody who will uh at some point have an acknowledged need for our product or service and then start the relationship from there to where you start to be start to build a transformational relationship with them rather than a transactional relationship with them transformational relationships are long term transactional relationships are short term and very often just based on price just based on price so shooting in the dark is not a marketing approach and if you are guilty of doing things like this then then don't be upset that your marketing approach is not working because it's not it because it shouldn't work this way unless you have got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people that you can go out and spray and pray to uh, all along and you've got a commodity and you just hope that uh, you you reach people like like that other otherwise most of the people who are watching me are selling things that are that are not commodities you're, you're most of most of them are selling things that are very expensive and it is far more important for you to go out and research your marketplace so that by the time you do reach out to connect with somebody you know enough about them to where you can talk to them from their perspective from their place of need of challenge of potential problems so that they will say, yeah, I am interested in talking to you. Now I want to learn about you because you already learned about me in advance. Spray and pray is not a strategy. This is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad and marketing gunslinger. Thanks for joining me again this week. I hope this was helpful for you. I will be back again next week with another uncopyable business video. And uh, in the meantime, always remember, be uncopyable. I'll see you.